If I were asked to imagine my ideal yacht without any budget limits, well, I would like it to be something exaggerated, huge and obviously luxurious. But as a former powerboat champion pilot, I would also like it to be very fast. But is it possible to blend together such different characteristics? This is Extra X99 Fast, and it is 30.22 meters long, has a full load displacement of 100 tons, and according to the shipyard, the version with three man engines of 2,000 horsepower each reaches 44 knots. That is truly incredible. Extra Yachts specializes in the development of yachts from 24 to 40 meters, including catamarans. The range has been developed with the advanced technical expertise of ISA Yachts. In fact, Extra Yachts is a brand of ISA Yachts, which is part of the Palumbo Super Yachts Group. Excellence is achieved by entrusting the different parts of the construction to those with the highest skills in their field. So, the naval architecture is by the engineering studio of Marco Arnabaldi, an expert for many years in the design of hulls for water jet propulsion. The exterior design is by Guida Design and Luca Dini Design designed the interiors. But all this work has been coordinated and developed by Palumbo Super Yachts. Its aim is to offer guests comfort and entertainment with large spaces inside and out, with areas intended to be in company or in privacy, while at the same time allowing them to experience the thrill of speed on the sea. It is constructed with fiberglass and carbon fiber with a strong yet lightweight structure. We could say that its line is unmistakable, but that would not be enough to illustrate the work done. I prefer to say that it is unforgettable. At the stern, the openable terraces stand out, bringing the floor area of this area of the deck to 75 square meters. Everything has been designed to admire the panorama, from the sun deck with well-inclined headrests to the sofas that open towards the sea, to the raised dining area that allows an unobstructed view. The bow is a technical area with a windlass and jet skis, but it also has a sun deck, namely a relaxation area that the high gunwale hides from the outside view. The sun deck, accessible via a staircase on the starboard side, offers maximum privacy thanks to its elevation. But even in this case, thanks to relaxation spaces lower than the profile outline, there is room for a sun deck, a dining table and a bar. A 4-metre tender is housed in the garage, which opens onto the starboard side. What we will see now can be completely customized because this is a fully custom boat. But in the meantime, enjoy this very modern and timeless style. Through a glass sliding window, the kitchen overlooks the outdoor dining area or becomes a space for the exclusive use of the chef. The saloon offers great comfort with its spaciousness. The reason is simple. Although this is a fast super yacht, it has a significant beam of 7.3 meters. There is an immense L-shaped sofa, service tables, armchairs and the bar. The sand color dominates and the steel elements give it character. The leathers in grey and natural leather are elegant. The television is inserted into a bulkhead of smoked glass. The hull has four cabins. The owner's one is positioned amidships to take advantage of the greater width. I would like to be the person who designed it or whoever built and installed it. Yes, because it takes a lot of skill to build something so beautiful that, at the same time, can withstand the pressure produced by navigating at high speed on the sea. Here we find two walk-in closets, 
a long beauty area or desk and the bathroom, which opens onto the bedroom with three independent areas. In the VIP room, the atmosphere does not change. That sense of perfection and wonder that is felt in every environment remains. Original niches serve as bedside tables, two wardrobes, a beauty area and a sofa. In the bathroom, a fascinating gold spider marble. Then there are two cabins with twin beds and the Pullman bed. Hidden by the bar is access to the crew area, which has three cabins, one for the captain and two for four crew members. This unit is equipped with two MTU engines, model M96L, of 2,600 horsepower each. They are 16-valve cylinders. As propulsion, there are two marine jet power hydrojets. One of the advantages of this type of propulsion is the ease of manoeuvring, also thanks to the joystick control. The thrusters aren't actually the only diesel engines on this boat. We also have two generators, each with 40 kilowatts, because this hotel can also need a lot of energy. I brought myself to a night transfer speed, therefore in conditions of maximum safety, 10 knots. Consumption is a total of 130 litres per hour. But the difference compared to other boats of this size is given by its name, Extra X99 Fast, because that is exactly what it does. It goes fast. So enjoy the wake under acceleration. The water lines have been drawn in such a way to make the water flow to the jet inlet with minimal turbulence. This way, maximum efficiency is achieved. 16 knots of cruising speed, engines at 1,900 rpm. I'll keep quiet and let you read the sound level meter. We are below 55 dBA. We can consider this absolute silence on a seagoing vessel. MTU engines allow us to keep a very high speed continuously, even for many hours. And so we look for the maximum cruising speed in what are the maximum load conditions. With a load on the engines between 80% and 85%, we have a speed of 25 knots. But the performance of the water jet improves even more if we give it even more speed. Full throttle. The shipyard declares that, under ideal test conditions, this unit reached a top speed of 37 knots. Today, as I told you, we are fully loaded. Our top speed is 33 knots. But that's not all. Stay on board for a few more moments, and I'll show you how to manoeuvre this boat at full speed. An incredibly quick change of course. This is a way of navigating that takes us to another dimension.